Hi everyone, Pradeep here from TGT and today Apple released iOS 14.8 to the public. Let's talk about the features, bug fixes, what's new and should you install. This update came in around 312 megabytes on my iPhone 12 mini. Apart from that, I have also updated my iPhone 7 and my iPad Air 4th generation as well. Along with that, Apple also released iPadOS 14.8, watchOS 7.6.2 and macOS Big Sur 11.6. Also, there is a security update for macOS Catalina as well. Let's check the build number. As you can see here, the final build number is 18H17. So if you have any of these devices shown in this list, this update should be available for you. To update your device, go to settings, then general, then software update, and you should see your update here but if you are a beta tester and cannot find this update then simply go to the settings then general then profiles and delete the beta profile restart your device and check for the update again now let's talk about the update and the first thing i should mention that there is no modem for my update so network and connectivity wise there should not be any change according to apple's release note iOS 14.8 is a security focused update that is recommended for all users. Let's go and check the release note and find out what is exactly fixed. As you can see there is an update for core graphics and the impact was processing a maliciously crafted PDF may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple was aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. So an integer overflow was addressed with improved input validation. Apple also addressed a WebKit issue with improved memory management as well. Apart from that, there may be some important bug fixes and resolved issues as well. But so far, it doesn't seem that there is any feature update and it is quite understandable as iOS 14.8 could be one of the final updates to the operating system as iOS 15 public release is just weeks away. But this time Apple might allow people to keep using iOS 14 if they don't want to update to iOS 15. For that reason, Apple may continue to push security updates over time for iOS 14 with new features likely to be limited to iOS 15. After the update, I haven't noticed any performance changes in this device this is my main device and with iOS 14.7.1 previously, I had no performance issues either. The battery life should remain same as well, though I need some time to test and report the battery life of iOS 14.8. And one more thing I would like to add that while updating, my iPhone 12 mini was wirelessly charging as well. And I think it was generating much less heat at the back. Apart from that, I have also updated my iPhone 7 in this version as well. I have not seen any changes in performance right away. It is running as smooth as it was on iOS 14.7.1. The overall scrolling, the app opening and closing is up to the mark as it should be. Also, I am running iPadOS 14.8 in this iPad Air 4th generation. All the updates and patches that I mentioned previously are applicable for this device also. It's running nice and smooth, just like the iPhone 12 mini. This is my main iPad, so I have a lot of app installed in it and it runs just fine. The battery life I get out of this device is absolutely fantastic and this update should keep that going. Now, if you are interested about the benchmark score, here it is for iPhone 12 mini. It is 1587 for the single core and 4023 for the multi-core. If I show you the history, you can see that the scores are almost identical to iOS 14.7.1. And here are the scores of all the devices that I mentioned here. iPad Air 4th generation, iPhone 7 and iPhone 12 mini. Now according to my understanding, you should definitely update to this version. This update comes with some major bug fixes which might be important for your iPhone and iPad. So if you have an supported device, just go ahead and update. As I said earlier, this might be the last major update for iOS 14.
Thanks for watching till the end. Do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to TGT. I will see you in my next one. Peace.